As part of our discussion, we're going to go to Sofia Kuvlaki, who's the executive director of the Home Project. And you heard about it as part of the launch, in fact, of uh, Ascend Initiative. It is a very special project in dealing with unaccompanied minors. And we have also, as a very special treat, if I can say today, because we are hearing from you, you have so much courage, the youth representative of the Home Project, Amadou Diallo. I'm going to ask Sophia to give some context about the Home Project, and then we'll hear from Amadou about his experience and his time here in Greece. Let me turn it over to Sophia first. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. Um, I think you, you heard um, a few things uh, about um, the Home Project. Uh, it, the Home Project is a newly founded um, nonprofit um, that has as a mission to support, protect, uh, educate, and provide social integration services to unaccompanied minors and other groups of vulnerable refugees. Home stands for home but it also stands for help, overcome, motivate, empower, which is what we want to do with everyone that we work with. You've heard um, statistics before. 40% of refugee arrivals are children. Of those, we don't know exactly how many, and this is part of the problem, are thousands of children who travel and arrive in Greece, in Europe, all alone. Traveling alone and unprotected, they're exposed to all sorts of dangers, from child abuse to organ trafficking and sexual exploitation. As we speak, right at this moment, there are children that are selling themselves for sex in order to survive in the center of Athens, on the islands. You've heard statistics before. And, and people, um, especially around this table, know the issues really, really well. We know that we're dealing with the biggest demographic change since the Second World War. And we know that we have thousands of children traveling all alone. What has happened after the closure of the borders in Greece is that children are trapped here. And all the relevant accommodation units are in full capacity. So at the moment, we have more than 1,000 200 children in urgent need of refuge, in urgent need of protection. I would like to ask you to, to pause for a few seconds and ask ourselves, what is a child refugee? It's a child in urgent need of refuge, a child in urgent need of a home. At the Home Project, we don't work with migrants. We don't work with refugees. We work with children. Children that have been marginalized to the point of invisibility. So at the Home Project, we not only provide for them a safe home, we give them a voice. We make them feel visible and validated. So I'm very proud to introduce to you our youth representative, Amadou Diallo, who is here to share with us his story, his experience in Greece, and most importantly, his dreams and his hopes for the future. Amadou. Bonsoir, mesdames, mesdemoiselles et messieurs. Je m'appelle Diallo Amadou, j'ai 17 ans. Je suis élève au secondaire et je viens de la Guinée-Conakry. I'm going to be translating for Amadou. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amadou Diallo. I'm 17 years old and I come from Guinea. Si vous me voyez bien devant vous cet après-midi, c'est pour représenter l'ensemble des jeunes mineurs de Home Project, filles et garçons. I'm here tonight uh, as a representative of all the Home Project youth and children, boys and girls. Je vais aussi vous parler dans un second temps de moi en témoignant l'importance de Home Project dans mon aventure 
au nom de tous les enfants qui vivent sous les abris de cette organisation bienfaisance. Uh, I'm going uh, to talk to you about my story and about my experience with Home Project and all the experience of the children that are accommodated uh, in the Home Project shelters. Et ensuite vous parlez de mes ambitions dans le futur qui sont pour moi des rêves que j'aimerais bien réaliser, mesdames et messieurs. And I'm then going to talk to you about my ambitions and the dreams that are very important for me and my future. Mais avant de continuer, j'aimerais remercier toutes ces personnes qui ont répondu à cet événement ce soir, car cela prouve votre bonne volonté d'accompagner des hommes projets dans son combat, qui est de protéger beaucoup plus de mineurs. But before I continue, I would like to thank you all for giving me this opportunity and for supporting the Home Project to help more minors find a home. Parce qu'il est important que vous sachiez, il reste encore plusieurs jeunes mineurs sans abri ni famille et sans protection qui vivent dans les rues. It is important that you know that there are many more minors without a home that are living in the streets without protection and in need of support. Et ces enfants sont ceux qui ont décidé de quitter leur pays suite à des discriminations, des traitements de viol et aussi de guerre. And these are children that had to leave home to escape war, discrimination and abuse tout en espérant une vie pleine de sécurité et d'espoir en Europe. In the hope of finding a life of security in Europe. Car pour moi et pour tous ces enfants, partir c'est aussi résister. Because for me and all these other children, to leave my, my country was to resist. Et c'est pourquoi je suis là pour m'exprimer au nom de tous les mineurs de Home Project et aussi au nom de tous les enfants sans abri qui ne sont pas entendus par le monde entier. And that's why I'm, I'm here tonight to represent uh, the youth of the Home Project, but also all of the minors without a home that are not heard by the world. En, en présentant leur triste sort ou situation en espérant changer notre destin, parce qu'il est difficile de vivre et réussir ses ambitions quand on, est, quand on reste loin de sa famille, de son pays et aussi de ses amis. I'm going to present uh, the sad uh, face and situation of those who suffer because it is hard to, to live uh, away from our family and our country. Et moi que vous voyez devant vous ce soir, and if you see me here tonight, je sais combien de fois cela est dur. I know how many times that was difficult. Parce que j'en fais partie de ceux qui ont souffert. Because I'm a part of those who have suffered. Parce qu'au passé, j'ai tristement perdu mes parents. Because in the past, I lost my parents. J'ai subi des traitements de violence. I was abused. De discrimination ethnique. I was discriminated based on my nationality. Et aussi menacé d'être brûlé vivant. And I was threatened to be burned alive. Et c'est pour ces raisons que j'étais obligé de quitter mon pays en passant par différents autres pays. And that's why I was forced to leave my country and I, I passed through other countries on the road. De mon pays jusqu'à Athènes. Uh, from my country to Athens. J'ai traversé des difficultés inimaginables dont j'ai surmonté par miracle. I encountered many difficulties that I managed to overcome um, because of miracles. Mais du jour où j'ai rencontré toute l'équipe de Home Project. But the day I, I met the team of the Home Project. Ma vie a complètement changé et je me sens aujourd'hui comme le plus chanceux au monde. My life has changed and, and I feel today as the luckiest person in the world. C'est vrai que je n'ai pas toutes ces personnes et c'est vrai que je n'ai pas tous les moyens et l'argent qu'il me faut pour réussir. It's true that I don't have all the, the money and the resources to succeed. Mais sachez que j'ai toutes les personnes qu'il me faut à mes côtés pour réussir. But I want you to know that I have all the people I need to succeed. Pour vous parler de mes ambitions, mesdames et messieurs. Uh, regarding my ambitions. Quand je serai grand. When I grow up. Ce serait de soutenir et d'accompagner à mon tour des enfants pauvres, sans parents et sans abri. I would like to support the children without parents and without a home. C'est donc pour cette raison que je tiens fermement à poursuivre mes études jusqu'à l'université. 
That's why I would really like to go to university. Dans les meilleures conditions pour pouvoir accomplir cette ambition que je me suis promise. In order to be able to attain my goals. Et retenez, mesdames et messieurs. And please uh, remember. Si vous m'aidez à poursuivre mes études. If you help me continue my studies. C'est comme si vous accomplissez une double action d'aide. It's like you've, you've done a double action of help. Car je serai capable because I'm going to be able de trouver un bon travail au sein d'une institution humanitaire to find a job in a humanitarian institution pour sauver à mon tour d'autres enfants qui seront en difficulté demain to be able to save more children in difficulty pour finir to conclude je vais remercier toutes ces personnes présentes ici qui m'ont donné l'opportunité et l'occasion de m'exprimer librement I would like to thank you all for giving me a chance to express myself and to talk freely. Et merci pour l'aide. And thank you for the help. I would like to close us the way we began, if I may say. I want to give the microphones back to Sophia and to Amadou. Amadou shared with all of us his dream, his dream for not only an advanced education, but also for going home and trying to help, going home in the sense of trying to help those in your home, uh, a country, to advance themselves and to help others who are in similar situations such as you, and not only just your own home country. And Sophia, you as well, because of the work you've been doing. Let us turn the microphones back to, to both of you for some concluding remarks, if you will. Uh, thank you, Ambassador. Um, I would like to start by thanking um, Concordia, first of all. Uh, home project started from Concordia uh, in last uh, September, and um, our founding sponsor, uh, the Libra Group, enabled us to move from inception to setup um, and from setup to operations in just five months, and to be able to support more than 100 children to create more than 60 jobs and to support the, the local economy. Now, with the support of the private sector and the Ascend Initiative, and, and thank you, Cameron, for your kind words, and thank you, Jay, for, for all your help, I would like to, to thank uh, the Radcliffe Foundation, IKEA, and other private sector partners uh, that have uh, engaged in to, to this very important cause and to supporting the most vulnerable of the refugees, but also the local population. This is very important to be done uh, at the same time. But, uh, tell us what you think is the most important message for this, for this audience. It, it's Broadly. actually, um, leadership is very important, but the creation of, of this community of support of, of all the different stakeholders um, civil society, the private sector, um, the local, local authorities. Um, if everyone comes together, then solutions do exist and, and solutions are made possible. So um, we, I think this is the message that, that comes out of that and I would like to thank you all for that. And to turn, thank you. Thank you. And to turn the floor to Amadou. And and Amadou, we would like to hear from you, finally. Please. Okay. Et d'abord, je vous remercie de m'avoir donné l'opportunité de m'exprimer encore une fois. First of all, I would like to thank you again for giving me the opportunity to express myself uh, another time. C'est un plaisir pour moi ce soir de partager mon histoire et mes ambitions avec vous. It's a pleasure for me to, to share uh, my story and my uh, ambitions with you. Et j'espère qu'ils se réaliseront par la grâce de Dieu. And I hope that through you, um, they manage, we, we can manage to make them happen. Mais sachez une chose. And I just want you to know one thing. Il y a plein de enfants. There, there are many children. Qui vivent dans les rues et qui attendent votre aide. That are living in the streets and are waiting for your help. Je voudrais que vous passiez le message au plus haut degré. I would like you to, to pass this message to the highest level. Et je sais que chacun de vous 
présent ici peut faire quelque chose pour ses enfants. And I know that each and every one of you here tonight can do something for these children. Je veux que chaque enfant comme moi I would like that every child like me se sent en Europe ou en Grèce comme chez lui. Feels in Europe or in Greece like at home. Parce que personne ne voudrait quitter le, son propre pays pour un autre pays s'il n'y a pas de problème avec Be lui. Because no one would like to leave his home and, and go somewhere else if there's not a problem. Si nous sommes là dans des pays européens, c'est parce qu'il y a bien sûr des problèmes derrière où nous quittons. If we're here, it's because there are problems where we're living from. Et donc nous avons beaucoup d'enfants qui ont des talents et qui veulent réaliser leurs rêves. Je voudrais que vous leur veniez en aide. Je vous remercie. There are many children that have many talents and that need your help. Thank you.